Today we've got a few ammonites to crack open initially, then after we've cracked them open, we're going to be having a look at a fossil which Shea found. This is one of his favourite little finds, some really interesting details on the preservation of it. And it's a very unique fossil actually, so first thing we'll do is crack open the ammonites, then we'll have a look at the fossil that Shea found. Let's get straight into it. We've got seven ammonites that we're going to be opening up. Shea is going to be opening up all of them. These nodules are all a similar type of ammonite. They're all Dactyloceros tenucostata ammonites. First one's opened absolutely perfectly. These ammonites are quite renowned for opening really well the vast majority of the time. We can see around the edge of quite a few of the nodules that they definitely contain ammonites. However, some of the nodules, you can't tell that there's anything inside. So it's a bit more hit or miss whether they actually contain one. This one's a little bit trickier to open up. Usually they're quite a lot easier than this. With ammonites like that, that don't open up well with the hammer or chisel, we can take them home and prepare the rest of them with our finer tools. Needless to say, any rare ammonite or fossil bone or any intricate fossil is always prepared at home with the finer tools anyway. It's usually only the ammonites that open well with the hammer and chisel. It was a very windy day opening these ammonites, as you can probably tell. Rough seas like this that can quite often wash up fossils onto the beach. We've already opened quite a few of the ammonites. We've got three more to go. Let's hope the rest of them open as well as the ones that we've just opened. As soon as we've opened those ammonites, we'll start having a look at those pretty special fossilised bones which I've already mentioned. This looks like a pretty promising nodule. Can't tell for sure that anything's inside at the moment, but there's a pretty good chance. Oh, that's incredible. Perfectly revealed. 
another nice ammonite opening and we've got the last one of this video coming up now you can see the outer world completely protruding from the edge of the nodule single tap and there we go Now that we've cracked open those ammonites, let's start having a look at some of the photos of the fossil that Shea found, and I'll explain more about it as we go along. I've got eight photographs from this fossil for you to have a look at. I'll let you see the first few without saying much about it, and see if you can start to work out what the fossil is. You might be able to tell that these are all fossilised bones, but can you tell what creature they are from? These are some of the rarest fossilised bones that you can find around here. A lot of the bones you can see are a combination of ribs, uh, vertebrae and some other bones. These are all from a juvenile, fossilised crocodile. Got one more photo to show you. And then I've got a video showing a bit more of the fossil closer up. Here's one of the vertebrae with the spinous processes all attached and in place as well as a couple of ribs it's quite a few vertebrae throughout this piece this is the only part of this juvenile crocodile that we found these are what we believe all to be vertebrae from the tail end of the crocodile No more of the fossil at all was in sight. Hard to know if it had eroded away or if this was all that was ever preserved. Hopefully if we keep looking in the same area, we might be able to come across some more of it. Whilst the bones aren't articulated in place, they're generally scattered in the direction that the crocodile would have actually had the bones in in real life they've just slightly moved out of place to find any crocodile vertebrae is quite rare and to have lots scattered all along this plane is it's even rarer and it's the first scattering of juvenile crocodile bones that we've ever found the bones are all preserved within soft shale that helps when it comes to preparing the fossils, because it's usually easier to remove shale than limestone. And actually in the background of this video, you can probably hear some of our fossil preparation tools working away. My dad is currently preparing a selection of different fossils, which I'll show you at some point when they're finished. What a really special fossil. Don't come across one like this very often. And there we have it. A very interesting fossil. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we do. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. If you'd like some ammonites to open yourself at home, please just contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils. We will get back to you as soon as we can. Shea does this full time, 
and we always appreciate everyone who helps support the channel and our Instagram page. My dad's working very hard on a number of pretty unique and exciting fossils and like I say as soon as they're finished I'll be showing you them one by one. Each fossil can take many many hours easily 50 to 100 hours or more so he's working hard and we'll get them prepared when we can stay tuned to see some more fossils and we'll see you in the next one